You got to be able to adapt to any situation and stop letting people control you. Write this down. I must control my thoughts and emotions. That is extremely difficult to do. It is. It's difficult to do. Some of you guys are going to leave here today and get right outside those walls and get emotional about something that you had no control over whatsoever. I'll give you guys a good example. We, we've all done this. We're all going to do this. All right? You pull out, you're in the car, you drive, and you get into a near accident. And I mean, er, I'm talking about like where if you didn't move, this clown cut you off, and <laughs> if you hadn't reacted fast enough, that would have been a wreck. Who's been in that situation before? Mm -hmm. Now, we've all been in that situation. I mean, you get hot. Like your adrenaline starts pumping, your blood pressure will go up for a second, you'll get a temperature, you'll start raging, and that person will apologize, maybe throw their hand up, and you're like, whatever. Whatever, <laughs> right? You bet I hit my car, whatever. <laughs> now, here's the thing. For the next 10 miles, you still you still 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 man. Still. that person went about their business. Look, they apologize. That's all they can do. They didn't hit you. Everybody's alive for 15 minutes. You carry that into work. This clown on the day almost ran me off the road, right? That person ain't thought about you in 30 minutes. <laughs> now, let's flip it. You the one almost hit somebody, don't lie. <laughs> it was your fault. <laughs> I've been there, I'm like, oh, my fault. You thought you had enough. They get mad. You go, dang, I apologize. <laughs> What's the problem? Ain't nobody hit your car. <laughs> you said, what's that? What? So, but isn't it funny how when it's you, when it's your fault, get you get you you clean up those emotions fast. Like I said, I'm sorry. You live, I live. <laughs> but when it was you on the other side, for 30 minutes, you... <laughs> See, we're all emotional. The difference with me and those of us that hit diamond and above and all of that, we know how to channel that emotion properly. So when you come at us sideways, we know how to harness it use it, show it to you in a different way, and present it in a way where you can turn your anger or your energy or whatever whatever state of mind you're in at that time into some production. And that's what you gotta learn how to do. You gotta learn how to harness your energy and turn it into something productive. Every emotion can have a positive outcome or advantage. It really can. I'll give you an example. A lot of people don't know, there's a difference between jealousy and envy. There's a big difference. See, you can envy somebody and want what they want. Sometimes God, the universe, will put people in your life to show you that you need to spread your wings a little bit. But if you let that become jealousy or rage, that's when the emotion becomes like a problem. It's not wrong with being envious of another person. Does that make sense? But see, we hear terms like that and we take them out of context. There's nothing wrong with emotions or being emotional if you're gonna channel it into the proper setting to make something happen. Okay? That's why I tell people, say, Brian, you never get mad. I don't get mad, I get righteously indignant. <laughs> I only use anger to get something accomplished. I'm like, so-and-so don't piss me off. So I, I guarantee you, I will show you the results of doing that. Does that make sense? I try to turn it into some form of action to make it productive.